little is much. This song is a good reminder that the little we have can become much in God's hands. Little is much was written by Kitty Suffield around 1924. Here's some of the story taken from the book, Then Sings My Soul by Robert Morgan. Fred and Kitty attended a church in Ottawa, pastored by the Reverend A.J. Shea. They had just entered the ministry themselves. One summer, they invited Shea's teenage son, George Beverly, to attend a month with them in Westport, Ontario, holding evangelistic meetings. One night, accompanied by Kitty on the piano, George attempted to sing, but his voice cracked on the high notes, and he sat down mortified, vowing never to sing again. Kitty wouldn't hear of it, suggesting he sing in a lower key. He did, and he kept on singing and singing and singing. Many years passed, and in June of 2000, Billy Graham came to Nashville, Tennessee for a four-night evangelistic crusade. Fred and Kitty attended a reception for the Graham team just before the meetings began, and George Beverly Shea rose to sing. He broke into a song that had been written years before by Fred and Kitty, Little is Much When God is in It. They thought it a strange choice of him since they were on the verge of the greatest evangelistic effort in Nashville's history, headlined by the most famous evangelist in the world. His song was about our smallest efforts, but later they realized how perfectly the song fit. Compared to this great mission to untold multitudes, individual ministries seem small and insignificant. God uses little things in great ways. A tiny acorn may produce a forest. A spark may ignite a revival. A small church might reach untold people through pumpkins or rummage sales or a food pantry. Even small prayers can make a difference. Little is much when God is in it. reach untold people through pumpkins or rummage sales or a food pantry. Even small prayers can make a difference. Little is much when God is in it.